This video is intended to accompany my body of work surface tension and shed some light on some of the processes, materials and making of. It is a multimedia study which uses print, costume, performance, composition, video work, text pieces and creative technology in order to find ways to address my relationship to the space I was in throughout the whole year of COVID restrictions. The works being presented fall into three subcategories, moon, wall and plant. Wall. I live in a back lane lined by supermarkets, busy roads and industry as seen in examples on screen. This wall is my only real interaction with the outside world during restrictions and lockdowns. Over time I began a series of studies of the wall which I began to turn into a wearable form. This allowed me, through play and performance acts, to choose to wear the wall instead of the other way around. Lengthy handmade process and materials were important to me in making this costume. I photographed a section of the wall and distilled it down to a single colour screen print. I started a long process of screen printing my wall and sections onto individual spare tea towels, which I would later cut down and stitch together piece by piece until I had enough fabric to make a coat. I started to make a series of videos with my fabric as it grew and took shape. In these videos, I was able to take agency and ownership of my space. It became a game that helped me to cope with there being nothing but wall. With this coat, I could threaten to become the wall whenever the wall tried to become me. I continued making a series of other outfits, including a full tracksuit with this wall. The result is a series of performance works and portraits wearing said wall. Moon. In these pieces, I created a dress I made out of a tracksuit that I wore throughout lockdowns. It was important to me to use something that I wore in secret behind closed doors and to turn it into something that could act as a transformative costume, um, something that helped with the metamorphosis. The moon acted as a keeper of time and a sign of renewal and that things could keep going and keep moving. So I wanted to create a, a tribute to the moon and that's why I tried to find a, a costume that would help me to become a moon woman. Above you can see the dress on a tailor's dummy and a demonstration of me using it. This um, costume could be used in the future for performances that were interactive or installed in some form in an exhibition format um, and the sensors can be programmed to be proximity censored so when audience members go near them they create musical pieces all unique depending on their interactions. Here's a series of portraits of me during performances uh, being the moon woman and creating this character really helped me to kind of master thinking that I had some control over time or some connection to it instead of just being lost in this void of lockdown. The final piece there that you can see above that I included in my um, uploads is the moon dress which is dance activated. So I changed how I programmed the sensors to be controlled by just movements of my body rather than by touch. Plant. I created the plant orchestra as looking after my house plants was one of my only interactions with the living world through quarantine. It was an attempt to form a musical conversation through the sharing of kinetic energy by means of touch. All audio is created by my skin touching my plants as the moisture in my fingers and leaves conducts when our circuit connects. Each plant is programmed to act as the key of a constructed MIDI controller. The samples are then manipulated from field recordings of cisterns and pipes in my bathroom which played on water as a sustaining life force for me and the plants and because the water that we contain is what allows us to conduct and share current and create music together. The concert I played for Box Moon in June 2020 included in my uploaded submissions was important to me as an experience because it was being shared live with the public social world. There was an intimacy from being crammed into my room with the live camera view. It became a voyeuristic window into my life even though I had been quarantined alone with the plants and here people could watch us become part of that same circuit. Overall, I could give a sense of this sur project surface tension in the phases moon, wall and plants with a short piece of text that I had written and included as part of this project. If I'm stood outside my shutter, staring at the same high grey block wall topped with the same sharp spikes and wires, 
watching the same moons come and go and shifting grids through the fence and my feet are rooted on the same broken always puddled tarmac and everything is energy and my skin is just a permeable thing from which the outside and inside enter and exit then where does this great place end and where do I begin? I am grey concrete and the ground is breathing beneath me and time is the smoothing of the pebbles under my shoes that vibrate as we perform this daily exchange. These past months to think of my body as a defined box, separate and distinct from here, seems clinical and alien. To divide things into categories of me and other while I stand here, months without interaction with anything in the physical world except for this place where I exist, it just feels too rigid to be true. I am this place as much as this place is me. No one knows I am concrete because maybe they are less concrete and more grass or more chair or more husband or more tea and a bourbon cream. The permeations of a person are infinite, but now I'm concrete and wires.